Now after studying about the structure of anther, we will study another process associated with it that is microsporogenesis. What is microsporogenesis? It is a process through which anther development occurs. That is process of anther development which acts as a pre-fertilization event for the male reproductive part. In this process, when the anther develops, the sporogenous tissues that is the middle layer containing compactly arranged homogeneous cells which is centrally aligned divides meiotically to form four microspores that is form a microspore tetrad. Each such pollen formed or each such spore that is formed is called pollen mother sac or pollen mother cell. Thus, this process of formation of a pollen mother cell from this sporogenous tissue through meiotic division is known as sporogenesis. And since here microspore formation occurs, the process is known as microsporogenesis. This figure depicts the mature microsporogenesis process. As said earlier that the due to development of anther, a microspore tetrad is formed. This microspore tetrad undergoing meiotic division Behind into mainly four structures that are liberated from one another. Each such structure is known as pollen grain, which gets gradually due to division separated from each other. Thus, from mature anthers that contain microspore tetrad. divide and gradually get separated to form individual four pollen grains or separated four pollen grains. And thus, during the dehiscence of the anther, such pollen grains in form of mature microspores gets released. And that is how the fertilization process starts. This figure depicts the structure of a typical pollen grain, where contains outer layer exine, the inner layer in time, and the germ pore that is a pore formation with the help of which pollen grain is liberated and combines with the ovary to undergo the fertilization process. Therefore, pollen grain contains three regions first, 
exine second in time and third jampur that is these are the structures that are mainly associated with the pollen grain that is the study of a pollen grain now let us study in detail about the structure of a pollen grain a pollen grain as said earlier is also called as microspore is found in a pollen sac or microsporangium and it is represented as the male gametophyte that occurs in the pollen sac coming to the structure a pollen grain is generally unicellular which is which can be either small round oval or spherical in shape they can also be either smooth or spiny and are generally found in the sac or dust particle The size of a pollen grain rounds about in spherical manner of about 25 to 50 micrometers in diameter. as said pollen grain is unicellular and uninucleate on observing the internal structure of a pollen grain it mainly consists of two parts that is exine which is the outermost or the outer layer of the pollen grain which is hard and rigid this exine consists of a layer of sporulenin this is a pigment which is found resistant to various organic material and so it is found that till now there is no enzyme found which can degrade this sporulenin moreover it can also withstand high temperature and high alkalic or acidic condition the second layer that is the innermost layer known as in time is made up of cellulose and pectin
Apart from that, the cytoplasm is surrounded by a plasma membrane. Apart from this, there is also one most important region of the pollen grain, that is germ spore. Germ spores are considered as the structures on pollen exine which lacks the pigment sporulenin. And so they can be easily recognized or distinguished. Now these exines or pollen grains Due to the presence of exine, containing sporulinin pigment, are considered as fossils because they cannot be easily degraded. That is, the sporulinin pigment present within the exine cannot be easily degraded and so they are considered as fossils.